What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. You may notice, this is back in 60 frames per second. If you go into your settings, it should be down here. I'm doing the YouTuber thing. It should be down here if your settings if you're on desktop. Uh, you'll notice that uh, it says that this is 60 FPS. And the reason why, my older videos used to be 30 FPS. I had like a period of like five or six months where it was 30 FPS. With my heater, I have my vent closed with my heater, but some air goes through and it makes a whistling sound like whoosh. It's annoying. Uh, but anyway. Um, the reason why it used to be 30 FPS is because I realized that no matter what, uh, my webcam, if it was in a low light situation, which is not this, if it was in a situation where it would be like dark where my blinds are closed, it's not 60 FPS at all. So I, I, I would feel bad having a, um, a 60 FPS output, uh, like, a, like a 25 FPS output from the webcam uh, and, and lying to you guys saying it's a 60 FPS uh, video when that's untrue. It's just a 60 FPS video playing 25 frames for a second output from a webcam, right? Um, but, uh, you know, something I've been doing a lot recently is showing you guys uh, my desktop. And that's actually where 60 FPS is important because it doesn't really matter what the light situation is um, on, on your desktop when you want to record 60 frames a second video. Um, but speaking of my desktop, I'm going to show you guys something crazy. Hold up. I just been playing Minecraft a lot. I just want to show you guys this thing I'm working on. Uh, here you go. Oh wow! Wait. Oh right, I forgot I did that. Uh, yeah, sorry. This is just gonna be smaller to fit inside of the um to fit inside of everything. Yeah. So you may notice that the glass isn't connected. The reason why is because um the continuity mod hasn't been updated for 1.18.2 yet, and I updated my server to 1.18.2 yesterday. Uh, although you know, even though that's kind of annoying. Uh, it kind of shows a good thing about uh, Fabric, the mod loader I'm using as opposed to Forge, that um, you can prioritize Minecraft updates first over mod updates, uh, because I know the continuity is probably going to be fixed within like a week, um, and so it's really not all that much trouble. And I have way less mods than I used to. I um, like for example, Distant Horizons, my uh, my my LOD mod uh, doesn't work either, but um, I just know uh, because of the usability of the Fabric ecosystem and how much easier it's used to it, it it's how much easier it is for developers rather than Forge. Uh, I just know stuff like that is going to be updated soon. And this isn't even, this isn't even like, this zoom mod is like exclusively an Optifine. I have a mod that does the zoom. What's this called? Um, logical zoom, yeah. So, y you know, uh, I, it's nice that I'm able to completely disassociate myself from the Optifine ecosystem. Uh, because you know it's rather um it's rather slow and i dislike how low the fps benefits are especially in a nicer area like on, at my old base uh if i had i had even with optifine i had like 40 fps uh, because i had so many chests but the nice thing about something like fabric is you're able to get like a chest mod that exclusively optimizes the chest entities um but anyway yeah, it's, it's about to become night but um you know uh god yeah that looks especially ugly with the mod and not installed. But check this out. Oh, the lights just turned on. Um, this is the podium so far for the Statue of Liberty. It's going pretty well. Um, my buddy Joe hasn't been able to work on it because, I don't know, he just hasn't been able to get on Minecraft. But, um, you know, this is still a, a work in progress with him. Um, these lights actually were in the original schematic. I just noticed that it got to light level zero, like around here, and mobs could theoretically spawn, and so I don't really want that to be happening. Um, and so I just have lights there. Um, in here, it looks rather boring, but I'm going to have paintings on these walls, uh, so that'll definitely look way more interesting, and I think on the inside I'm probably going to have some sort of, uh, maybe, maybe I can have, like, like, bridges going from, like, the sides into the center, I don't know what I'm going to do, but, um, yeah, so, I've got this cool pattern over here, uh, which I don't think is on the real Statue of Liberty, but I've seen it a lot on, like, um, the actual on uh, like a lot of builds of the Statue of Liberty, so I just decided to put it on there because I think it looks really nice. It adds a lot of detail to the floor. Uh, here's something interesting. Inside of these little holes, you can see them, are supposed to be shroom lights, but Joe is actually working on a shroom light farm to um, so that we can get like the 10,000 shroom lights we need for this podium. Because it would be kind of a weird like hell world to have to um, uh, go into the nether and get 10,000 shroom lights. That would make no sense, right? So, um, I don't have my shield. Watch this. Goodbye. Okay. Um, yeah. So, the plan is to, I can actually show you guys on my schematic. The 
plan is to have it go up and up and up and up and up up until here, uh, where it'll um, actually have the statue. And the nice thing is I'm almost done with my copper harvesting. I have 14 shulkers of copper blocks now. Uh, and I think you only need 14, but I'm just going to go for 15 for unaccounted for um, copper. Uh, because, uh, as you may know, um, the shulkers, uh, they only say how many stacks of items are in a shulker. And it could easily be just like 32 blocks of copper in the end. Um, and so, um, I, I'm just doing 15 shulker boxes of copper just to um, account for lost copper. Here's something cool. Hold on. I got this mod. Check that out. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Man, I'm totally like a Minecraft kid. I apologize. <laughs> uh... Yeah. Um, yeah. For breakfast, I haven't had anything yet. Same with lunch and dinner, obviously. Um, yeah. Alright, see you, dude.